Okay. Assalamualaikum to everyone and hi. Okay, to non-Muslim. Alright, so uh, uh, we are now in week 9. So uh, next week you are going to have your Jyotik Tengah Semester. Alright, the reason I'm doing this uh, recording lecture is because uh, I understand our situation nowadays. Uh, Plus, it's uh, Ramadan. So, maybe you can watch this uh, lecture. You can watch this lecture uh, recording anytime that you are free. Uh, rather than I just um, have an online meeting. Uh, maybe you have no focus. So, that's why I record the lecture. So, anytime that you would like to watch during your free time so you can always watch and you can always replay uh, the lecture if you have some uh, some inquiries or questions that you might not uh, understand all right so this week we are going to continue with uh, topic two okay we are still in topic two process procedures and instructions but you need to, which is instructions. Okay, I just finished with, I finished with process and procedure. So I will continue with instructions. So for today, I'm going to explain about uh, instructions. And then uh, I will give, I will brief you about uh, our assignment, which is you need to settle during your term punya SEM D, okay, uh, SEM break, SEM, SEM break, okay, and then um, you need to submit a week after, a week after cuti raya, okay. Alright, let me start. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay. Instructions. What is instructions? Okay. Definition of instruction. Instructions are directions, orders, or recommended rules for guidance, use, etc. It can also refer to a manual that usually accompanying a technical device and explaining how to install or operate it. So instruction is basically they can uh, in the form of set of instruction which they have more than two uh, steps or uh, sentence of instructions or maybe they can just uh, stand on their own one word only for example like stand up okay stand up it's understood as an instruction which uh, when people listen to the instruction they know there's something that you need to follow and do Okay, so what is the difference between instruction and the process? Okay, instruction is basically the uh, telling you what to do. Okay, meanwhile for the process, they describe what you, uh, the process to do. Okay, so for example, book of instructions, instruction manual, operating instruction manual, which is it means a small handbook okay so instruction can be given verbally or through reading okay uh, verbally ni macam kita bercakap lah as i as i as i for example like as i ask you to watch uh, my recording lecture okay that is an instruction okay okay we may give instruction on how to do something how to play a game of petang, how to make a paper flower, how to operate a remote car, how to prepare fried rice, and how to make paper doves. Okay, so, how to the, actually, they give you a set of instruction. Okay, instruction tentang macam mana cara nak buat sesuatu tu. Kalau proses, dia lebih menceritakan tau. Uh, contohnya macam, the paper is cut, Ah, uh, jadi benda tu dia diceritakan kepada apa subjek dia tu. Tapi kalau yang untuk instruction tu, dia lebih fokuskan kepada verb imperatives. Dia tak ada uh, subjek pun. Okay. Most of the instructions involve number of steps or stages which must be in sequence. 
Okay, dia mesti dalam turutan. A simple method of describing the steps in the process or sequence of events is as follow. So actually we can use this. This is what we call as a sequence connector. Okay, first, then, next, etc. Finally, this sequence connector actually help you to or help the reader to understand the steps better. Okay, sometimes if I uh, imagine if we don't include the sequence connector in the in our steps, okay, in our manual, we might not know uh, which come first and which is uh, are we are we miss uh, steps? Uh, so so all the sequence connector help you to actually uh, explain or not explain to indicate the next step, okay. Alright, we could also describe the arrangement as a serial ordering or a numerical ordering of the steps in the process. Okay, dia macam tadi serial ordering tu macam first, next, then, after that. Okay, tapi yang ini kita kena pakai dia sebagai numerical ordering which they use firstly, secondly, thirdly. Okay. The sequence or steps in the process is indicated by linkers. This is what we call linkers. Linkers are connectors. Iaitu ayat, uh, bukan ayat, perkataan yang menyambungkan antara sentence atau antara ayat. Okay. Uh, okay, for example, here's how to book and print online tickets to Legoland Malaysia. First, to be able to book Tickets online, all you, all you need is a valid e email address, a printer and a credit card. Secondly, blah, 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 blah. Next, finally. Okay. So, imagine if we don't have all these sequence connector. Here's how to book and print online ticket to Nikola Malaysia. To be able to book online ticket, all you need is a valid email address. Are you know that this is the steps? Are you know that maybe this is only the information? Okay, just a reminder Then, uh, So, sebenarnya It's important Untuk you letak uh, Sequence connector ni Okay, it same goes to your Instruction later on Bila you nak buat You punya assignment Don't forget to put Sequence connector Okay Look at the instructions On how to do web check In for S. Asia flights, read the instruction then discuss the following with a partner. Okay. okay, step one, check in online. Enter your departure departure to city and book your tak apalah, mana baca yang ni. Alright, step two, apa dia punya during at the airport, airport. So, there are two major steps. Okay, step yang pertama check in online. Bawa check in online ni pun dia ada several steps. Okay, and then bawa at the airport pun ada juga. Tapi do you know what is missing here? They don't have the sequence connector. Alright. So, do you find the instruction clear? Yes, they might be, may be clear but maybe the reader still have confusion about how to understand the whole picture of the instruction. Okay. So, this is actually uh, to this uh, the the question here to uh, can help you to to uh, understand whether the instruction given here clear or not okay okay the important uh, element in instruction is imperatives okay what is imperative imperative is a form of a verb which is usually used in giving orders or instructions. Okay, imperative ni adalah verb. Tapi verb ni yang digunakan untuk memberi arahan ataupun memberi uh, order instruction tu sama lah kan. Okay, yang mem untuk memberi arahan. So, example like this, stop. Even though it just a one word stop, but it clearly understood. Okay, clearly understood for to anyone which you need to stop. Go. Go lah. Okay. Flush the toilet. Simple. So, imperative is a verb. Yang yang bila kita baca tu, kita tahu what what is the action that we need to follow. 
for example like this take a look at the sentences take two tablets every evening so the imperatives here is take okay give me the details give berilah stand up uh, stand could you stand up okay uh, the above sentences are imperative sentences and imperative sentence has an understood subject okay and the verb for instruction they you don't you don't need to include subject okay subject to siapa you dia bila kita baca tu is automatically understood that you are the pelaku dia Okay, so you tak payah pun nak tulis nama. You take two tablets every evening. No need. Okay, because it's understood the instruction for you to follow. To anyone who read this, to follow. Okay. Okay, for imperative, they have uh, their own functions. Okay, they are the fungsi-fungsi their imperatives ni. The first one is to give orders. Okay, kasih arahan. Come here. Take that gum out of your mouth. Close your door. Okay. Go sleep. Itu kasih arahan dah. Okay. So one of the function is to give orders. Second one, to make invitation. Okay. Untuk membuat jemputan. Uh, bukan jemputan macam jemputan kahwin ke apa. I mean the sentence is like people invite you. Okay. Like uh, let's watch a movie together. Di, di selalunya ada perkataan let's Okay Let's watch movie together Let's go for date this weekend okay, Have some tea It's still hot Okay, come come in and sit down We are having dinner So all this is the, the imperative Okay, have some tea Have some tea This is the imperative Come in Okay, kalau kat sini imperative dia ada, ada dua Come in and sit down. So, come in, sit down. Okay. Remember, the imperatives is the verb. Okay. Give instruction untuk kasih arahan. Okay. Take two pins every six hours. Open your book on page 32. So, take and open is the imperatives. Okay. They don't have to include the subject. You need to take two pins every six hours. Tak payah. Okay. And to give advice. To give advice untuk kasih uh, nasihat lah. Go home and get some sleep. Tell me about your trip to Penang. Uh, apa tu? Uh, I think you should quit your job. Uh, macam tu. Pun boleh juga. Ataupun quit your job. Tapi itu lebih kepada give orders eh. Uh, apa advice eh. Settle your, settle your homework before you sleep. Okay. Uh, Itulah. And then next is to give to give warnings. Okay, kasih arah. Okay, warning ni amaran. Bila warning, you can use negative imperative. Okay, what is negative imperative? Don't. Do not. Do not smoke. It's bad for your health. Okay, the, the word don't is actually uh, as an imperative but in the negative state. Okay, don't sit on the bench. It's wet bed. Paint. Okay, sorry, pen pula. On sign, okay, signboard. Kat mana-mana signboard. For example, like in your lab. Okay, kat lab tu banyak signboard. Do not enter. Lagi apa, flammable. And then some signs, they just indicate a picture. But you can understand or you, the message behind the picture is understood very well to everybody. Okay, contohnya macam, uh, Signboard uh, jalan kan Road road signage kan uh, Macam no U-turn Kan dia, dia buat bentuk je okay, Tapi orang tengok orang tahu okay, Gambar lembu Maksudnya apa? Adakah ada uh, lembu kat depan tu? Adakah tu kawasan lembu? Tapi I think most of the Nanti kan kalau balik raya ni kan You cuba tengok dekat tepi-tepi jalan highway tu Berapa banyak signboard yang Apa tu lembu Padu perlahan Kan? Eh padu perlahan ke tak silap So sebenarnya dia nak cakap siapa yang lembu Okay Cuma lembu Lembu padu perlahan ha, Lembu tu you ke? Kan? Atau nak cakap lembu yang padu perlahan ke? Ha, ke? Kalau dia nak cakap dekat kawasan tu ada lembu 
tak pernah pula I nampak dekat tepi-tepi highway tu ada lembu. Kan? So, cuba lah. This is just macam joke je lah. Sebab I pernah dulu attend course kan. Ada uh, dia, apa tu? Counselor tu dia buat cerita macam tu lah. So, sebenarnya the meaning behind lembu tu, kita tak faham sangat. Ha. Kenapa mesti gambar lembu? Kenapa dia tak tulis je pandu perlahan? <laughs> okay. Right. How to follow and write instructions? Uh, imperative is form. Di, imperative ni dia terbentuk dengan menggunakan verb. Okay. Verb without, to or any noun. Tak perlu ada kata nama pun. Okay. Pronoun in front of it. Pronoun tu kata nama lah macam you, I, he, she. Okay. For example like... Kalau nak beritahu kan dalam dalam uh, in a verbal macam instruction verbal instruction uh, your a friend asking for direction so you want to say that you uh, okay you need to turn left at the post office rather than just that uh, rather than that you just can omit the the pronoun okay turn left at the post office clear it's understood right uh. This type of instruction doesn't say who has to follow it because it's for everybody. Okay, it's for everybody. It, uh, if the person is only with you, okay, macam you bukan dia je, so it's clearly understood that the instruction is for her. Okay. Example of instruction written using the imperatives. Okay, okay, rather than just, okay, this is if you want to, um, Uh, using the proper sentence by have object, subject and something like that. Okay, when we change it to imperative instructions, it just be like this. You should not smoke here. Should not. Kalau should not, jadi apa? Don't smoke here. Okay, simple kan? You must fix this with glue. Fix this with glue. You must not run. Don't run. You will need two cups of sugar. Use two cups of sugar. So, it's often written as a list, uh, not written in full sentence, may have below points, should never be used when writing formally. Okay, writing formally tu contohnya macam you buat essay kan benda semua, ah, tu tak boleh lah, essay kena lah ada sentence siapa tu. But if you want just to simplify the instructions, you can just create using imperative like this. Okay. Which word is correct? We try to do this activity. Which word is correct to complete the sentences? Okay, remember that they use uh, present tense. Okay, kalau present tense, number one, press lah. Press the red button to stop the machine. This one, insert plugs into the holes in the wall. Insert kat sini, dia dah jadi, uh, uh, dia dah tak, tak, apa tu, tak sesuai. Kalau, Uh, kalau kalau kat depan dia tak ada pronoun Contohnya macam He inserts the plugs Into the holes in the wall nah, Itu tak apa Ni turn Turn the heated pool with a spanner Draw a vertical straight line At the middle of the paper Remember that you have You need to use the Present tense Okay Okay, the exercise you did are called the imperatives with the infinitive sentences. So, what is infinitive? It is the basic form of a verb that usually follows to. Okay, to tu perkataan. Macam perkataan tu. To see, uh, to, to dig, to dig, okay, to write. Okay. Remember the infinitive verbs come in a simple form without ing. G S or ed. Selalu ni kalau tu ni, okay kalau kita buat ayat kan. Kalau ada tu, a verb lepas tu mesti dia tak payah you letak pas dia tak boleh letak past tense ataupun tak boleh jadi gerund ing. Okay, melainkan beberapa uh, syarat lah. Tapi selalunya kalau ada tu, mesti lepas tu mesti basic, basic um, word, okay? To sing, to cry, to walk, okay? Okay, let's discuss. Look at the signs. 
what do you think they mean and where would you see them? Okay, number one, no food or drink. Huh, where you can find this? Maybe in your lab? Lagi mana? Public transport? Okay, public transport pun boleh ada juga. The reason? Why? Because it might give harm to, contohlah macam dekat lab kan. It might give harm to other people ataupun kepada you sendiri. For example, like you bawa pisang. And then kulitnya, you terlupa pula buang. And then orang pijak, terjatuh. Kan? Sebab dekat lab kan banyak benda-benda bahaya. So, it's, uh, that's because you are not allowed to uh, bring any food or drink. Okay, second, uh, what is the picture of this? It's a school children crossing roads. Okay, so you can see in the school area. So, what you need to do? Slow down your vehicle, slow down your car. Do not enter. Okay, do not enter maybe in lab or uh, maybe in uh, any private property. Uh, okay, so tak boleh masuk. Adalah sebab tu. Okay. Alright, I hope you are clear. Next, I'm going to explain about our... Eh, sekejap. Let me uh, show you ni. Apa ni? Uh, show you... Show you the... the uh, contoh. 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 Mana I punya ni? Sekejap. Sekejap eh. Tahu. Okay. Let me share the... Okay, can you see? Uh, I hope you can see this. Okay. Okay, this is the examples of giving instructions. It's good. I, I, want, I just want to make sure that I'm sharing this, the right thing with you. Okay, correct. Alright, example of giving instructions. Okay, we watch this and look how they actually are using instruction in the classroom. Submit your assignment. Submit is the imperative. Write the answer on the book. So the imperative is write the book. Don't be noisy. Don't give a warning. Look at the whiteboard. Look. Instruction. Basically, uh, in our daily life, we actually make, it, make instruction most of the time. Most of the time, tapi kita sedari lah, without we realize that it's actually an instruction. Okay, for example, you ask your friends, hey, uh, apa yang nak cakap? Uh, uh, watch the plates. A uh, watch pula, watch the plates. Okay. So, you suruh kawan di bawah kan, lepas buka puasa kan. Uh, okay, itu instruction lah. Go and buy me some food. Itu uh, instruction juga. Alright, let me explain about how to do instruction on your assignment. Apa benda ni? Macam mana? Korang ni ni, apa ni ni? Okay,
Macam AI tak biasa lah pakai yang ni Macam nak share my My Microsoft ni Okay Alright here Alright, so this is the instruction for your assignment. Okay, um, the percentage for your assignment is 20%. And, um, okay, the CLO is upon completion of this course, students should be able to describe processes, procedures and instructions clearly by highlighting information of concern. Okay, we assign week 9, which is this week, and week due, week 10. Week 10 is... Uh, week after you cuti okay so the duration given is supposedly one week tapi jadi two weeks lah okay the instructions observe one process or one procedure that is related to your field of study okay uh, for example you DTM and DFO kan paling senang lah contohnya the process of um, making ikan masin okay ikan masin so uh, you need to observe Okay, observe tu perhatikan lah And then study lah to make a study about How to make uh, ikan masin Alright, in a group of two or three Record a video to demonstrate the process or procedure that you have observed So you you need to record the video From the start, from the first first step until the last step Okay, you need to prepare possible apparatus or equipment Materials, ingredients to be used This is just like a prop lah Make sure betul lah dia lah benda tu The video should include the usage of sequence connector. Perlu ada sequence connector, kena ada dalam sentence when you describe at least 10 steps of a process or a procedure using present passive form. Okay? Present passive form. Mesti menggunakan present passive form kalau you explain tentang process or procedure. Fry precautionary or safety measures as you are describing the process or procedure. Okay. Okay. Actually, when we look at steps, they have the precautionary or safety measures such as uh, remember to wash your hands before you start kneading the dough. Okay, itu is actually like, tapi dia bukan step tau. Itu just warning. Okay, precaution. So, you boleh masukkan sekali. The duration of your video should be around 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure to meet all the requirements within the time limit. Introduce yourself by providing your name and metric number at the beginning of your video. Make sure the video display your full presence. Okay, buka mesti kena nampak. Okay, I tak nak ambil gambar dahi, ambil gambar dagu atau ambil gambar benda tu je. Sekarang we have a lot of a lot of uh, accessory of gadget kan. Uh, kita ada gimbal ke Atau kita ada tri tripod Untuk st statikkan handphone tu Okay You are required to submit your video On flip screen or padlet platform Yang dia nanti akan ramai tahu Bila you kena hantar kat mana Marks will be deducted If you do not fulfill the task requirement Do not submit the video on time Send in the I Ini kalau I tak I tahu kalau you ambil uh, Steps from YouTube Memang boleh nampak. Okay, so that's why when you explain on the process or instructions, make sure show your full face. Okay, show your full face. So the mark allocation, they have got, we will assess you based on content, information or concern and the language. So, so total 100, kita akan jadikan 20%. Okay, uh, I give you an example. Okay. Kasih you contoh Sekejap Sebentar Okay this is uh, An instruction how to How to Give instruction lah how to make coffee Okay, I wanted to do something like this But this one is in instruction Bila dia dalam instruction Dia tak Dia kurang tahu ada yang precautionary Contohnya macam remember tu Apa benda semua So actually you need to do something like This lah, okay
I'm not sure is the sound appear or not. Okay, tengok eh. They explain, okay, tadi they explain, uh, her explain, uh, she explain herself kan. Uh, her name and dari mana and then explain uh, the introduction, apa benda yang you nak buat and then barulah dia masuk how to make coffee. Okay. Okay, she start with first. That's a quest connector. Okay, so basically, I want you to create something like this to record yourself in giving the instruction or you also can describe, okay, it goes like this. When you give it instruction, um, you use the uh, verb at the front, can, okay, but the process, you try to describe again, to describe macam menerangkan sesuatu yang telah berlaku. Okay, for example, like dia cakap, uh, contoh lah kita ambil, contoh kan. The first step ni. First, twist off. Sekejap eh, first twist off. Twist off the lid, kan. Okay, you akan bekerja dalam kumpulan kan. Uh, I prefer dua orang lah. Dua orang, okay. Seorang ni akan explain on the instruction in instruction. Akan explain instruction lah, guna instruction. And then the second person is going to explain using to describe the process. Okay, so macam ni tadi, twist, twist apa? Uh, twist off, twist off the lid. So when you describe the process, it, it 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 will be like the lid is twisted off. Okay. The lid is twisted off. Remove the filter. Okay, the first person they akan remove the filter and then the second person they akan explain. The filter is removed. Alright. So cuma dua orang je. Okay, boleh in a group. Uh, you can choose 
you can choose uh, any process contohnya but the process should be have should have at least uh, more than five steps okey kena lebih daripada five steps walaupun dekat instruction tadi kena 10 kan tapi tak apalah i pilih 5 5 steps mesti ada alright so uh, macam tu lah uh, compile nanti I tahu you dengan kawan you dekat tempat berbeza but you discuss on your own lah how how you can actually uh, discuss on that okay to make it to make it true and then submit to me on time okay alright so I hope apa lagi I nak kasih ya okay let's we look at the rubric okay kita tengok rubrik kalau rubrik ni macam kriteria lah sama ada you nak tahu macam mana pengiraan markah dia ok so we see uh, you see here so we actually uh, test we look into content process and procedure whether you can explain the process and procedure clearly tak effective effectively tak okay so information of concern instruction dia instruction dia uh, ada berapa banyak relevant information uh, contohnya macam uh, beware uh, macam dia punya safety lah safety precaution dia uh, apa tu remember to always check the heater remember to always check the temperature ok itu bukan steps tapi lebih kepada precautionary measure and then last we look into your language the language is not you cakap pandai you 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 are able to speak in English uh, confidently or friendly tapi how do you actually using the language to describe the process Okay, you use the variety of vocabulary or not. Okay, even though you are you able to speak in English very well, maybe more fluent than me, but if you cannot use the choose the correct uh, vocabulary, you cannot choose the right sentence. You don't actually use your your apa your language proficiency to in describe the process or procedure is nothing okay tak ada apa-apa pun sebab we will look we look into how you actually using your language and describe the process and procedure throughout the assignment okay so i wish you good luck anything you can always text me and asking to ask about the assignment okay please 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 submit okay Especially those yang dah carry module tu. Siapa yang belum hantar lagi presentation, please buat juga. Sebab we are, kita dah nak habis sem ni. Takkanlah dah nak habis masa nanti lagi banyak nak kena buat. Okay. So, I think uh, I should stop here. And uh, thank you to listen to me until the end of my lecture. Uh, I see you again in the next two weeks. Okay. Uh, I think that's all. Have a nice Hari Raya with your family and please come back in safe, okay, in one piece. Uh, and I hope uh, we can see each other again in the next two weeks, okay? Uh, Selamat Hari Raya, bye.